Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, I realized we used all Operation Right Home sketches. Well, if this is your first time, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way whenever I upload, you will get alerts. And let me tell you, I love Operation Right Home sketches. I find most of them on Pinterest and I have a board saved with card sketches. So you guys can always click on my links um, to go there. So as you can see, I still am working with the Kaiser Craft collection. I have everything pretty much already um, cut out, okay? So we're using, um, it's a very light pink wood grain um, paper that was in the paper collection. And then this black one, it has like almost an embossing texture. Um, and it's very, it's very pretty. This whole paper collection is really pretty. A lot of the stuff is soft and um, light colors with the pink. And then you have the different shades of gray and black. It's really, it's really nice. So with this card, I decided I didn't do any layers. And I did the order a little different than I did on my practice one because on my practice one I had the glitter paper going underneath the pink and then I decided yeah let me do that and I'm going to put the strips I'm trying to find my yeah I did do it on both I'm going to put this um peel offs from love from Lizzie on but I just wanted to see if it made a major difference if it was under or over that's what I like to do with these and why I always do one first and then that gives me an idea of what to do on the actual recording one and then I can show you guys options with the cards because both wind up you know turning out great but there's always something a little different very rarely do I do the same exact thing if I do it's because I like what I did and I don't want to change it <laughs> right if it ain't broke, don't fix it sometimes. All right, so we're laying this down and I'm just trying to make sure I'm even on all sides. And look, that is the sketch, y'all. It's done, <laughs> just that quick. Now what I decided to do, cause I didn't have a two and a half inch circle punch. I went with, I think this one is two and a quarter, the gray. And then the next circle up, which is the pattern paper, um, is at two inches. And then I use the circle from the sentiments in the back of the paper collection. And yes, this looks like an obscene amount of foam, but this foam tape is actually, it's not that thick. It's not bad. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and use it. So there's that one and then we're just going to keep layering it up because I always talk about how we can use more um, foam tape if we wanted to um, and then like sometimes I never do it. So on this one I definitely wanted to uh, show you what you could do as far as doing the different layers. And then on this last one we're just going to do the one in the center. Make sure the butterfly is straight, hold it up a little bit, and then press it down. And then we're going to grab some of the silver gems from the pink and main. Grab my pickup tool and my glue, and we'll put these down real quick. And I'm trying real hard not to do the boop. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you're recording videos, because you it's silence, and so you don't want to keep you guys bored with us like not talking during the voiceover, I think sometimes that's why you feel the need to make the boop noise. <laughs> so you're like, okay, boop, boop. Uh, Kathy Zilski, she started it all. <laughs> all right, so now we're, we're really, we're done. So here we go. So this one you guys saw, I put it on top of the pink and you can see all the layers, right? Super cute. And then this one, I put it underneath the pink 
and then only a little bit of the foam. Um, there were elements of it that were flat, the gray and the uh, the matte paper on the left-hand side one um, are glued flat, and then only the sentiment is raised up. So I think with the one where the glitter goes underneath, I probably should have um, maybe put a little bit of the uh, peel-offs along the pink edge as well. I don't know. There was something about it that I was like, no, I think I like it better underneath. I think it just finishes it off. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. This is the last one in this month's series. And then please join us for next Friday where we'll be using a whole new paper pad for the month of March. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Stay out of trouble and stay safe. Thanks. Have a great one.